Hello, I'm Cade Herbert. I'm the host of the UC Buyer's Journey podcast. Uh, this is episode one of the podcast, so I'll be doing a little bit of introductory work, and then we'll get into uh, phase one of the UC Buyer's Journey, which is the discovery phase. Uh, to start off our introduction, uh, the UC Buyer's Journey uh, delivers an actionable plan to a daunting challenge. The adoption of unified communication continues to accelerate as businesses of all sizes and in all industries uh, recognize the value of bringing together VoIP technology, instant messaging, video conferencing, mobility presence, and collaboration capabilities into one seamless business environment. Um, you're likely to encounter questions surrounding features and deployment options as a, as a new UC uh, buyer, and you'll have to address the decisions that will impact your organization. Having a comp uh, comprehensive strategy is part of the formula for a successful uh, UC buyer's journey, but sometimes the biggest challenge is, of course, making, uh, taking that first step. Um, so this is phase one of this of this journey um, and we call it the discovery phase <clears throat> so i'm going to get a little bit into what that what that means for you as, as someone who is uh, new to the idea of the uh, buyer's journey here okay let's start things off um, it and business leaders uh, should be united and working in a close collaborative collaborative environment during the discovery phase um, they really need to be in sync in order for this to work. This team will have to navigate uh, a considerable number of complementary and competing requirements, features, and deployment options, and then arrive at the ideal uh, UC solution for the users of the organization. So uh, we've compiled a little bit of a strategy for navigating that discovery process. <clears throat> Uh, first, you're going to want to fully support um, your business and organization with a solution that will provide you with the flexibility and scalability you need. Those are the two things that are best to remember about this, flexibility and scalability. When you use the right UCAS solution, you'll have a uh, future-proof solution that will be able to adapt to your needs, regardless of how often and how drastically they change. You'll only want to pay for the services you actually need and you'll want to be able to expand or contract uh, the capacity of the services when needed. Many businesses won't even need a startup investment. It's essentially just a service. Uh, you don't really need to install equ equipment necessarily unless there are some specific needs that require specific uh, equipment, but that's pretty rare. Um, for example, if you uh, eliminate one, your, uh, as far as flexibility goes, if you eliminate one of your departments or if you add a new department, it'll be easy to uh, adapt the solution to the changes that you've made. Uh, in today's market, you need a solution that has the ability to change and grow and update itself. If you're currently using a solution that has been standing in the way of your growth, um, it's definitely time that you need to update your communication strategy. You don't want communication to be the reason why you're slowing down. <clears throat> uh, when you use cloud-based services, the changes in your organization will have a global impact as soon as the solution has been implemented. It'll be pretty easy to add new users and services when you need them, but it's easy to remove them as well. Um, and more importantly, uh, the solutions are not geography dependent. So um, you're not going to need to worry about international uh, employees or departments, or you're, and you're also not going to have to worry about at home uh, mobile users or in office uh, users because um, the cloud is kind of it, it's it's a, a global unifier in that way so you, everyone's services are the same uh, we encourage people who are going through this uc buyer's journey particularly this discovery phase um, to partner with a company that's able to help organizations and businesses in multiple countries. So you're going to want someone with some international presence. You don't, again, you don't want to, even if you're sim simply domestic right now, you don't want to limit yourself to that if the potential is in the future to move to new countries. Um, as a user of the service, you'll have, you'll need to have mobile coverage and access to the internet, of course, in order to make it work. But uh, that's pretty, that's a pretty common uh, business requirement these days. Um, all of your users will be able to enjoy the same solution, uh, regardless if they are on premise or if they're spread across across the globe. Uh, the users who will need to work from home or in a different location uh, will be supported equally. 
Uh, so that's essentially the thing you need to consider most at the beginning when you're first discovering what your needs are as an organization, um, those particular things, flexibility and scalability. Um, then you need to remember um, that you, UCAS as a whole can increase your ROI as a business or uh, your effectiveness as an organization. Uh, of course, there's all the lower upfront costs in terms of investments. <clears throat> You're not going to have to install a bunch of, of a bunch of stuff. Obviously, if you have uh, desk phones, you'll probably you uh, need to make sure that those desk phones are are compatible with the UC. Along with the lower upfront costs, you'll also have lower m monthly communication costs. Um, in theory. The, the fact that you are um, talking less on the phone and you're more likely in meetings, um, that, that will significantly impact um, the, the amount of uh, airtime that you have. UCAS solutions are also uh, extremely effective at increasing business productivity. So the time that your employees and your, uh, your users put invest into the system uh, UCAS solutions also drastically increase business productivity, so the time you're getting out of your users and your employees will go further than, uh, than if you were working outside of a UCAS system. There's also a big reduction in security risks. Um, things like Microsoft Teams, Cisco, they're all very, uh, very well maintained from a security standpoint. Uh, Microsoft and Cisco have uh, extremely robust security systems. And even companies and, uh, for example, uh, government contractors who might have tighter um, security requirements, they are well covered in, in uh, most UCAS solutions. So the, those, those folks can use it as well. Um, also, um, the user experience of UCAS solutions are, are phenomenal. Uh, they're better for employees and they're better for customers. Um, and we can we'll get a little bit more into the impact on customers who might be calling into your organization in in later phases. But for now, we'll just say that the user experience for both sides of the equation are ex are very much enhanced by UCAS solution. So um, that actually covers a lot of the discovery phase that we're talking about today. Thank you so much for joining us, and uh, uh, do return to us, and we'll go over the the second phase of the UC buyer's journey. And we love to see you then. Thank you.